Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'd say welcome back, but this is obviously my first video. I just wanted to do a get to know you video so that you guys could get to know me. We can become best friends, you know, and then have a great life together. If you don't already know me and you're here for the first time, my name is Sarah or Sarah Jane or SJ or SB, multiple nicknames. But I'm Sarah, and I'm about to be 35 in November, so I'm probably too old for YouTube, to be honest. But no, no, you're not too old for anything. And let that be my first inspirational thing for you. Like, you're not too old to start anything new. You can go to college, you can lose the weight, you can start a YouTube channel. I got my degree in 2017, my associate's degree. And I did that while raising my daughter who was an infant and a toddler. I also was doing that while working. So like you can literally do anything. If I can do the things that I've done in my life cause I'm nobody special, you can do it too. Even losing 60 pounds, like I don't even feel necessarily like worthy enough to be like sharing my story on YouTube and telling you guys about myself. And I don't feel as though I'm and this inspirational being and not that I'm like any kind of you know crazy weight loss expert nutritionist because I'm not but I've had some of you reach out to me and tell me that I've inspired you and that that's awesome and like that inspired me to want to try and do this and try and make videos just to kind of like share more of my journey with you and tell you how I did it, what I'm doing to maintain it, and different stuff like that. What made me want to lose weight was basically, I mean, after I had Ellie, my daughter, I, um, I was not my thinnest. I haven't been my thinnest in a long time. Um, and, you know, I'd see pictures of myself and I'd be like, wow, do I really look like that? And my friends and my family would be like, no, you don't look like that. You don't look like that at all. And I was just like, okay, you know, cause I didn't think I looked at my mirror doesn't tell me I look like that. I didn't think that I looked like that until I had a picture taken of me at church where my daughter and I were wearing matching dresses and I'll insert that picture right here. And everyone's like, oh, you look so cute. You and your daughter look so great. No, that was the picture. Like I had already, started trying to like do a healthy meal a day and slowly start a habit. I would lost about five pounds. I'd gone from 199 to maybe like 194, 195. And I saw that picture and I was like, oh no, no, we, we need to make a change here. Like we need to make a drastic change. And like me losing 60 pounds in the weight loss community, that's like, that's like a blip on the map. Like that's literally nothing. It's to most, people in the weight loss community, I've lost like a pound because some of these people that you'll see on Instagram and on Facebook and YouTube, like they've lost tons of weight. Like they were like 300 pounds and now they're 130. They weighed, you know, they've lost an entire me. That's amazing. I didn't have that much weight to lose. I still had a lot to lose, but not that much. And I still do want to lose more because I'm going to tell you right now, editing this video is giving me a complex. I still wanted to share my story with you guys because it has been a journey for me and it has been really hard and it is weight, losing weight is not easy and I have tried everything and when I signed up for Noom, which this is not sponsored by the way, but I did the app called Noom and I'm sure you guys have seen it on Instagram and Facebook. When I signed up for that, I didn't think it was going to work because Weight Watchers didn't work, Fitbit didn't really work for me. My fitness pal didn't work for me. Trying to diet on my own didn't work for me. I'm a nurse and I know nutrition and I know how I should eat. I didn't have that willpower and I didn't have that motivation and that I needed to really jump on this. But even starting new, I didn't even really feel like I had the motivation yet, but I was like, I have to make this change. Like I have to do something. It's at a point where I am not happy with who I am anymore. So I need to change. So I started Noom and what was different about it for me and what I liked about it was every day they give you these articles 
and it's all about like the psychology of why we eat the way we eat and it really was very eye-opening in that I have a severe addiction to food. When I want to celebrate something, I'll eat. When I'm really happy, I'll eat. When I'm really sad, I want a snack. I want a Big Mac. When I'm depressed, I want to eat. When I'm anxious, I want chocolate. I just want to eat food. I'm not a big snacker. I would rather eat like large meals. I love pasta. I love cheeseburgers. I love tacos. I love chocolate. I'm a huge chocolate addict and I will eat chocolate every day, all day. And that was something I had to break my habit of too. So actually for Lent last year, I had fasted chocolate and that kind of started the trend of me giving up, knowing that I can give things up and knowing that I have the willpower and that I can do it. So when you hear people say like, it doesn't just take willpower, it's a lot of willpower. You really need that willpower and you need someone to teach you about yourself. So that was what I liked about Noom was that they taught me about myself. And Noom really taught me like really helpful hints and tricks on how to eat, which was really great. And that really helped like I eat smaller portions. I was able to kind of shrink my stomach down to an extent. But another thing with Noom is they won't let you go below 1200 calories a day. And I think that is a major, major thing that helps you to maintain the weight. So I didn't have to actually give anything up. And I don't look at it as a diet. Like I don't say, oh, I can't eat bread. Oh, I can't eat pasta. Oh, I can't eat chocolate. Like I still eat those things, but I eat them in moderation and I watch how much of it I eat. And if I, you know, have a cheat meal or two cheat meals this week, this whole last week, like I'm up five pounds because I ate Olive Garden. I ate Moe's. I went to Aruga's. I don't know if you guys have those in your area, but it's basically bar food, fried food. And I had two beers. So I'm up. It's all water weight. And so I know that this week when I start eating healthy again, which I can't wait to do because I feel like absolute crap, I'll lose all that weight again. What I really want to do is I want to get down to 140. I My original big goal was 145. Now I want to be 140. I want to stay relatively healthy. I know your BMI says with my height and my weight or whatever, I should be like 120, but that's too thin. Like that's just too thin for me. I don't want to be that thin. I want to still have a little bit of meat on my bones. Um, but I am going to try to get to 140. One of the things I will tell you is that throughout this diet process, honestly, like I've barely exercised. I'm not an exerciser. I hate exercise. I don't hate it. But I'm just lazy. <laughs> I'm just not like a bit, I'm not, I'm not that athletic person and I never have been my whole life. I don't mind walking and I used to love going to the gym, but it's really hard to have a gym membership when you have a child and you don't have childcare and it's literally just you. So I don't go to the gym. I try to walk now when she's at her dad's, but other than that, like I don't really get to the gym. And really it is like 90% diet. Exercise will only take you so far. It's 90% how you eat. Like you can eat pizza and cheeseburgers and tacos, but like a half an hour on the elliptical is only 300 calories and all that food is way over your calorie budget. So you have to, it's, it's science and it's math and you have to really figure that out. So yeah, it's mostly your diet. So if you can keep your diet down caloric wise, then exercise just adds and helps you lose weight that way but just exercising alone isn't going to do it anyway so it's really like diet focused and that's what I have been doing so far like I've been focusing on the diet aspect because I want to get to a certain weight before I start to like tone all the flab. It took me about a year to get to where I wanted to be. It took me about a year to lose that 60 pounds. And while some people might think that's like fast, it's also relatively slow. I really lost only one to one and a half pounds a week, which is really all you're supposed to be losing. I would maybe lose five pounds in a month. And the heavier you are, the faster it falls off. Now I'm at an area where like, it's taking longer for weight to fall off. And I've been a little more lax about it because I did reach my goal. So now it's just getting back on the bandwagon of it all. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you want to see more. I can't wait to make more. This has been really fun to try and start. So if you did like this video, feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. That's right, subscribe. There's also, I think it's like over here, there's a notification bell. 
hit that and then you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I'm gonna try to do them weekly, but life does happen, so bear with me. But I am really gonna try to get these up weekly. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Leave me a comment down below if you have any other questions for me that you'd like me to answer in a future video. I would be happy to answer them for you. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.